Hi, in this video we're going to do a proof. So we're told that x is an element in the set of integers and we're being asked to prove that x squared is even if x is even. So this means, this means if and only if. If and only if. So we basically have two directions to prove. So let's start um, by proving um, if x is even, then x squared is even. So we're gonna prove this direction here. So we assume x is even, then we show x squared is even. So we start by writing down our hypothesis. So you would say, suppose x is even. And the claim is that x squared is even. So the natural thing to do in a proof like this now is write down exactly what it means for x to be even. So this means There exists an integer, let's say k, such that x is a multiple of 2. So x is equal to 2 times k. So we've written down our hypothesis, right? We assume this is true. We're trying to show this is true, so we wrote this down and then all we have now is um, we wrote down what it means for x to be even. So that's what it means. So now I think we've really exhausted all we can do with our hypothesis. We, we assumed it. We wrote down what it means. So now we need to look at x squared. So we can look here. So then x squared. Well, x is equal to 2k. So you can just simply square the 2k. And then you square the 2. So you get 4 k squared. And so now you have to show that this is a multiple of 2. So what you can do is you can write it like this. This is 2 times 2 k squared, where 2 k squared is an element in the set of integers. So that's precisely what it means uh, for x squared to be even. So x squared is even. And again, very important to know the definition of even. I probably should have written it down at the beginning of the proof. But, um, you know, x even is equivalent to saying x equals 2k for some k and z. Okay, likewise, x odd is equivalent to saying x equals 2k plus 1 for some k and z. Okay, that's the definition of even and odd in mathematics. All right, so we've shown one direction. We showed that if x is even, then x squared is even. So now we have to show the other way. So we have to show that if x squared is even, then x is even. Instead of doing that, we're going to prove the contrapositive. We're going to show that uh, if x is odd, then x squared is odd. So we're showing this direction. We're showing that if x squared is even, then x is even. But we're going to prove what's called the contrapositive. So if x is odd, then x squared is odd. That's equivalent to showing this direction. So I'll start by assuming, suppose x is odd, and then you simply write down what it means for x to be odd. So this means, this means x is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. And now um, we simply have to look at x squared, just like we did before. So then x squared is equal to, well, you just square this quantity. And you can multiply this out. This would just be 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. Um, I did that very quickly. Basically, the formula is a plus b squared. That's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. You can FOIL if you like to, but... I usually use the formula, you square the first one, 4k squared, multiply these and double them, so 2k times 2 is 4k, square the last one, you get 1. So we have to show that this is of the form 2k plus 1. So I guess we can factor out a 2 here. So we get 2, 2k squared plus 2k plus 1. Make sure we did that right. 2 times 2k squared is 4k squared, 2 times 2k is 4k, where... 2k squared plus 2k is an integer. This shows x squared is odd. 
And that completes the proof, right? We're done because we showed both directions. So that's it. So interesting proof. Um, you know, we had to prove two directions. And for this direction, we use the contrapositive. So hopefully uh, this proof has helped you in some way. Good luck.